Hey guys, so um, today we're playing a deck called 8-Rack, or it's pretty much like Esper uh, mid-range, Esper control-ish. Um, it's got a lot of cool interactions that we're going to go over real quick. Uh, so it plays mostly like a black-white mid-range deck, uh, like creature, um, black-white creature. Uh, so you got like Core Skyfisher, Grave Inspector, you got Omen of the uh, Dead. Uh, how it differs is kind of how it's doing removal. Um, it's using a Blade Brand plus a Crypt Rat um, method. So if you use Blade Brand on Crypt Rats, that gives everything uh, Crypt Rats Death Touch, and then it can wipe the entire field pretty easily, right? We have one of Questy Squire just to have a, a big threat. Um, Custody Squire also has a combo with like Omen of the Dead, and then we also have uh, uh, Mole Drifters just as they're just great value on the top end. Uh, prismatic, uh, a Prophetic Prism to Mana Fix, Ephemerate to do Mole Drifter or Chittering Rats shenanigans, or even uh, Core Skyfisher shenanigans. Um, in the sideboard, we do have three Gorilla Shamans for Artifact Hate because we can hit white pretty easily. Uh, I mean, not white, uh, red pretty easily. We have also two aura fractures for, um, for uh, enchantment hate. We have three touch of the mongoose, which are additional ways to give death touch to uh, crypt rats or your other creatures. But it also, um, when a creature dies, uh, it its controller loses two life, so it's an also an alternate win on to kill uh, slivers, the a slivers player or like elves where they go super wide. Um, I I did make some changes to the deck. Um, before he had like a lone missionary and a bunch of prismatic strands, and he had four blade brands rather than three. I added one expected unexpected thing to the main deck and three in the sideboard. Because it's a great way to gain life, as well as it gives a 1-1 counter to uh, your creatures. You could do a thing with Crypt Rats where you give it a 1-1 counter and lifelink, and then only deal 1 damage to everything, but you can gain a bunch of life that way. Or it can just, like, sporadically uh, pump, like, a Chittering Rats or a Mole Drifter for, like, specific blocks or Core Skyfisher, and then we can gain a bunch of life. Um against something like Burn. And then we have Fairy Macabre as our uh, Graveyard Hate. Um, so please like and subscribe if you have not yet. And I will see you guys in the matches. All right, so we will be on the draw. So we'll keep. Um, all we need to do is get one of our lands, or if we get a prismatic, uh, Prophetic Prism, then we'll be pretty good. All right, so. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So if this is burn, it I uh, we can find out if uh, if I was right to add those. We might use Blade Brand to kill this next turn. We might just be dead, to be honest. That's what sucks, is like, we might just be already dead. Okay, that's not super aggressive. That is aggressive, okay. We're effectively at nine, so we're probably already dead.
Okay, there we go. Just making sure he had it. Alright, so we're going to give this a shot. We're going to do the unexpected things. Um, I don't think we need Blade Brand as much. Holly Shave of Crypt Rats. Maybe we like only one Crypt Rat. We'll try it that way. Yeah, that's how we'll try it. All right, we'll give this a shot. We're just going to go with the core Skyfisher because getting an unexpected flings on core Skyfisher would probably just win us the game. So we're going to hope that he doesn't kill this guy. That fucking sucks. <clears throat> hmm. That was a terrible thing. We did not want... That's okay. But that one was terrible. Like, we did not want that to happen. We'll bring back Omen of the Dead. We'll swing for one. We'll hope we're not dead. Him keeping his mana up sucks. We don't want to... That's not good. Because if we go for the unexpected fangs, he's just going to kill us. Yeah, we're probably dead. It's so garbage. Is that with outflying? Yeah, that is. Okay. Ugh. I need lands. All right, we have to go for it and just hope he doesn't have a response. If he does, we're dead anyways. Maybe he makes a mistake and thinks this can kill it. He does. Okay, let's see what he's got in hand. He just should have used lightning bolt on it. Now the only really chance he has is to double bolt it, which saves us a bunch of life. He could go for the win, right? Just three bolts. Yeah, just three bolts and... uh. And Fire Blast, okay. 
Okay, he got us. See you guys in the next match. I forgot to press record earlier. We've mulliganed one so far. We're going to keep this and get rid of uh, unexpected fl uh, things. Okay. We're going to go Chainer's Edict next turn. Or do we do Chainer's Edict? We'll just flash this back if we do it now. Well, that sucks. So let's go get a white source. Play this. this. Maybe these should just be cast downs. All right, so we'll go Chainer's Edict first. He runs Mana Tithe. All right, you got me, buddy. You got me. So we really need just like a Crypt Rats so we can use the Blade Brand trick. Perfect. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have that many more pumps. I don't think it's likely he doesn't have that many more pumps. Hopefully he doesn't. All right, so we can keep up Ephemerate to flicker this dude in response to him using provoke this is going to be a very interesting game i think we can survive though
Okay. Last turn. Play Bran. Just do it again. The Jukabog targeting him. And then we have Chainer's Edicts now for his uh any new spells he gets. Perfect. Alright, so we're in a really good spot then. Ooh, that's actually, that's super good. So we're going to do this instead. Because that guarantees he doesn't hit a creature next turn. Then we'll play Prism. And we'll pass turn. I'm actually super tempted to go core. I'm going to swing with Chittering Rats. I'm going to go core Skyfisher for Chittering Rats and then lock them out again. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to swing for two first. Core Skyfisher. Bring back the Chittering Rats. Then play Chittering Rats. Play Thraben Inspector. But we know he's not going to draw another creature next turn. We're going to swing for at least five next turn. And then we'll see what else happens. Alright, so we're going to go attack. Okay, so we can do another Chittering Rats if we need to. We also have, we have a lot of options with Omen of the Dead. Like, he's going to die in two turns, it looks like, if he doesn't draw a creature. Okay, so he just concedes. Alright, that's pretty good for us. Alright, um... So I actually like more Death Touch options. We probably don't need the wall drifters as much. We want like all the removal. Actually, we'll probably keep one mole drifter and take out ephemerate. Maybe that might be the reason. The other reason why he has so many prismatic trends is it helps against like this deck too. So yeah, we'll do it like that. Well, all our early creatures can get Death Touch in a way. Actually, we don't need the unexpected things. Alright, I think that's the way I'm going to go. Okay, um, I think we can keep this. This is fine. We have a couple ways to get the Death Touch in case we want to block a big dude. Yeah, I like this. It would be fine. Ooh, and uh, crypt. Okay, that's good. Ooh, first strike makes this harder, though. But we will not. We might just use this to jump block at some point, but that'll be it. We'll take the two.
Take the four. We're gonna get beat up. We'll take four more. That's fine. Okay. We need another black source out there. There's no way we can go for it unless we draw. Um... Yeah, I think we go longer, right? We take the longer route because we need more black sources. We're going to play a core Skyfisher. Return this. We are going to start blocking this, by the way. We're probably going to go Crypt Rats and Thraven Inspector next turn. We're going to hope to draw maybe uh, some additional black source at, at some point. Either a cave or an ash barrens works. A couple different ways. But we are going to start blocking this guy. He ends up getting the blessing card though and give protection from black to this guy though. We're, we're uh, in huge trouble. That's actually not bad. But like I said, I think we go Crypt Rats. Raven Inspector. If we get any untapped source next turn, then we can do what we want to do. Again, we're going to chump block this guy, keep our life total higher. All right, so we're gonna go Blight Brand. We're gonna hope that he doesn't have a protection spell. All right, well, here we are, guys.
right. Um, so I like the Omen of the Dead for the uh, core Skyfisher plan to have a blocker. Or we could just kill his dude. I think we'll just kill his dude. Play this. Bounce of a Jukubog. Pass turn. Alright, well, we're almost dead. We can no longer use Touch of the Moonglaive. But, hopefully, we survive. That was a great draw. Makes me feel a lot better about ourselves. We will go Omen. We will get Core Skyfisher. We will core Skyfisher, get Omen back. And we win. All right, we're going to play one more match to see how it does. All right, yes, I would like to play first. We will keep this is not bad at all I'm pretty happy with this okay so we will attack for one Play Prism. Well, that's sad. All right, so we're going to Ash Barons first. Go get another Swamp. We're going to... Play the swamp, crack the clue. Put blade brand up top, on top, sure. We'll play cave, play core sky fisher, bring back prism, play prism. We are super deep land wide. We will block. Okay. Emirate's cool. I like that. I think it's swing for two. I'm going to try to ephemerate in response. We'll bounce Prophetic Prism, then we'll bounce it next turn.
We're just trying to get as many of the prism triggers as possible. Stay ahead on. On uh, drawing. Oh, that's a great draw. The super high value card. Are we gonna be able to hit our lands for a while too? That's that's great. Post sideboard. What would we do sideboard wise? I don't like this matchup. I think it's good overall for us. We can definitely outvalue them. I think we do the Crypt Rats trade off for all three of those creatures now. Yeah, I think that's good. We're going to go attack for two. Do a Crypt Rats. Play Brandit. Deal one to everything. We're going to put this. In the and then we are going to do this for caves. I We'll go Custody Squire for Core Skyfisher, I think. That's fine. That's not a huge deal, actually. Yeah, I still like Custody Squire for Core Skyfisher. Play Core Skyfisher, return Prism, and we're in a good spot, a super good spot. I kind of figured that was going to come. Swing, swing for five in the air. Yeah, so I like Chainer's Edict on them. We'll swing for five. So, hopefully he finds removal. Maybe? I don't know. There you go. That's removal. Alright, so we'll swing for Dose. Will we one black source off of killing him? Yeah, we are. 
All right, so we're going to go prism first. One, two, three, one black left over. We're still one black source off from killing him. Okay. We get to play our own Shittering Rats now. It should be game, I would guess. Would hope. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal either. <laughs> Chain Uzi Dict. We're exchanging one black for two damage so the Chittering Rats can get through. Crypt Rats and deal three damage with Crypt Rats. Okay. kind of like how we are right now. The only thing I might bring in is Fairy Macabre if I thought that would... Yeah, we'll bring in one of those for the unexpected thing. I kind of like the rest of it. Well, we're definitely mulliganing this. Try to keep this getting rid of this. That's pretty good for us. Only thing I'm worried about is if he chains together a bunch of crypt rats, I don't think we can beat him. I mean, not Crypt Rats, Chittering Rats. I keep saying Crypt Rats when I mean Chittering Rats. We are just going to chain or Z-Dick. Yeah, we're we're in trouble now. There's no doubt about it. We're in trouble. We mulligan and also he hit us with two training rats. We're what, four cards behind him? See if he's dumb. He goes for the monarch. I don't think we can recover at this point. All right, thankfully he didn't have it.
We're in trouble. We're just trying to keep our life total a little higher. We're going to block. Crypt rats. For two. We're going to return a uh, planes and then we can start using a chainer's edict to kill these next turn. Hope that he has all removal in hand and no creatures. Basically what we got to hope for at this point. All right, well, that's game. All right. Yeah, that's game. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go first this time, and hopefully we don't have to maul again. So, and hopefully he doesn't string together chittering rats really early. Okay. Yes, we would like to play first. Oh, we have to maul again. This is fine. We'll keep. We'll get rid of one of the. Get rid of the swamp. This thins out the deck more. Take the black. We'll take blue with this one, just in case we get Mole Drifter. Or do we take black to make Crypt Rats better? It's tough. See what we draw. We're definitely going to Chainer's Edict that regardless. Alright, so we're definitely going to get black then. Misclick there, we were supposed to play the swamp. That was a great draw. Anything that draws is a great draw in this matchup, to be honest. All right, well, that's something. We have enough mana to flashback Chainer's Edict later. That's fine, we'll block.
We're probably going to have to wipe the field next turn, which sucks. I really hope he doesn't have a land into Grey Merchant. That would be garbage. Yeah, whatever. That's okay. We're okay with that. Now we can flashback Chainer's Edict next turn, too. Yeah, we'll just flashback Chainer's Edict to get that. We're hoping to get some value with Core Sky Fisher. We really are. So, like... Uh, Thraven Inspector, Prism, one of those would be great with it, even like a Kittering Rats would be okay. Omen of the Dead would be great. Bull Drifter is amazing. We'll keep up Ephemerate in case he goes to kill it. This might get us over the hump here. I'm totally going to block that dude. Well, we can't ephemerate that, which kind of sucks. Okay, that's great. Um, so we definitely will go tap, tap. Yeah, we cast it. Ooh, Omen of the Dead's great. We'll go Omen of the Dead. Play Thraven Inspector to get around Chainer's Edict. And then we can start using Core Skyfishers with that. We will ephemerate that. We need to keep our life total as high as possible so that we don't die to a random gray merchant. We just want him to draw lands for a few turns so we can like turn the corner here. We will block with uh, Mole Drifter. All right, well, Ephemerate's not gonna get any value on the back end, but it did its job already. All right, so we're definitely going to go with Core Skyfisher, Return Omen, Omen, Ogen Moldrifter again. 
play Mole Drifter. Log him. Make uh, Witch's Well worse. That is not a problem at all for the fact that we have so many draw options and we have a lot of draw. I mean, a lot of. Okay. I mean, that's annoying, but we're going to outdraw that anyways. Okay, so we're definitely going to go Prism. Or Sky Fisher. Omen. Raven Inspector. Wing for two in the air. Okay, so we could sacrifice Core Sky Fisher, then we can get extra value. Or we could just sacrifice the Mole Drifter and keep our life total higher, and I like that idea a little bit better. Because I think we're going to get plenty of value over the next couple turns. It's more about trying to stay alive. That is freaking amazing, too. That's great, too. Go get the other mole drifter. Let's bounce back the, uh, Jukabog, in case we need that later. Let's Prism. Swing for two. Alright, I think we can win this turn. So we're going to go wing for six in the air. Then play Crypt Rats. And then deal five damage. GG's. All right, sweet. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You guys are awesome.